friendly mo have incoming. What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slayer here bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Welcome to day 14, day 14 already of Moab May, where I'm trying to bring you a Moab every single day of May. And why do I always, when I say every day, go every single day of May? Is that like a sophisticated faggot? <laughs> but I don't really know why I do that. But I got a domination game today on lockdown using the ump. The UMP-45, the almighty OP gun from Modern Warfare 2. Why did I just say it like that? I don't really know. Why am I asking why I say everything in this commentary so far? I don't know. Why am I saying this? Uh, but yeah, dude, in Modern Warfare 2, the UMP was probably one of the most overpowered guns and really one of the best guns. You could kill people. It was like the MP7 of Modern Warfare 3, pretty much. Other than the MP7 is like a laser all the way across the map. The UMP in Modern Warfare 2 wasn't like that, but it would kill very deep because like there was no... Uh, fall off on the bullet so it would kill really pretty fast wherever you were so uh, it was a good gun not as really not really as good on Modern Warfare 3 uh, but it is good once you get specialist dude oh my Jesus it's jerk off it really is um, but you know this is the first lockdown Moab that I posted I figured I'd go over a couple things to try to get you guys a first Moab maybe more sufficient is that the right word of getting Moabs on this map sufficient sufficient I don't think that was the good, right choice of wording but I'm on a roll with it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get a Moab on this map, really the best way to do it is get them spawn trapped today as I die by bad man's hands. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I just drank a bunch of syrup that Nova sent me, so I got a sugar high. Don't mind me. Um, I didn't really drink it. I ate some waffles. Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell her that I bought waffles last night and I've been fucking tearing them up with that syrup she sent me. She sent me some 100% pure maple syrup from the Canadian lands. It's fucking epic. As I get blown up by a car. That's bullshit. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you want to get a Moab on this map, you basically want to get them spawn trapped at A. It's a pretty dominant spawn trap in this as well. Not as dominant as the other maps. Most people tend to kind of get by that little back hallway and, you know, head glitch the, that little stairway there. But I don't really do that. You can see right here, I tried to rush around to actually get the Moab, so I don't really show off the strategy that I'm trying to tell you guys about. Um, but I'm sure you've all done it. You get them spawn trapped today in the little back hallway back there. You're at the stairs that's right back here in the corner. You know, shoot them as they come right off the A flag and then get a couple in the hallway and stuff like that. Um, you know, we've all been there, done that. That's probably the best way to get it. Um, even in an A spawn trap, regardless, you know, I would rather have an A spawn trap than a C spawn trap. Uh, we had a guy on our team. This was a full party of subscribers again, but this guy on our team did not have a mic. So he kept jumping on flags, triple capping. And I was getting a little, just a little pissed off. Um, because he kept doing it and I kept, you know, like telling him, I was like, dude, get off the flag, blah, 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 blah. But right here you can see me. My brother-in-law watched this game last night. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Okay, this is my reasoning behind this. You can see I'm sitting there holding a Simtex like, derp, 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 derp. I was waiting for them to take A, okay, because I didn't want to triple cap. I was waiting for them to say that A was, like, captured or whatever it says. I don't remember. And then I was going to chuck the Simtex and try to kill the guy. That's what I was doing. I didn't like to stand there just thinking the little crosshair X thing looked cool. I was trying to kill the dude. That was like my strategic move, but it didn't pan out for me. Somebody killed the guy, but it's all good. Uh, but yeah, a spawn trap is the best. This hallway right here, and then this is the head glitch. Well, never mind. The dude in the shotgun just fucked that all up. Uh, but it's back there in the corner. You guys know where it is. I'll say it next time I get there because I don't think I die anymore. Well, I mean, I think this is the Moab streak is what I meant. I may die after I get the Moab. Uh, but this is the streak right there. But this stairwell right there. Most people tend to come right here and shoot them as they spawn. And then come over here and shoot them as they spawn. Throw a radar detector or whatever it is called in this game. Right underneath in this tunnel. Because that right there, this tunnel right here, is the main thing you got to worry about when you're trying to get a Moab on this map using that stairwell glitch. Not a glitch, but the head glitch. You know, they. you see those two guys right there. How easy would it would have been if I wouldn't have been there? They could have came around and just smoked me from behind right there. So you always want to watch that tunnel right there. You also want to watch the long haul or, you know, the hallway with the blown out, where the blown out hole is. Um, so you want to watch that. As long as you just keep changing it up, man. Throw them off guard. Don't, don't let them pattern your movements, you know. Just keep changing it up. Now, this guy with the shotgun, I'm starting to get scared because you never know when he's going to come through there with some, uh, see, there's the guy that I was talking about. He wouldn't get off the flag. I'm like, dude, get the fuck off the goddamn flag. Ah, I'm screaming and shit. I'm like, I'm kicking this motherfucker. Not really. I wasn't that upset. But, um, you know, 
The guy with the shotgun, he's using the USAS, which in my opinion is the best shotgun in the game. Uh, dude, I love the USAS. But, you know, you you play, you're play playing Russian roulette, I guess you could say, when you got a guy running around with freaking a USAS like that because you never know when he's going to come around the corner, maybe with ballistic vest, maybe with some, uh, uh, what is it called, like juiced. Dude, a dude with juiced and a freaking USAS, you're done as soon as you see him. Like, oh, fuck, boom, dead. But I'm just lucky that guy right there wasn't the dead man's hand. I really thought that guy was the dead man's hand, and my butthole started to pucker as I seen him drop onto his ass. I was like, yeah, I'm dead. But unfortunately, he just had final stand, which is a little bit better than dead man's hand, but not. I still can't stand seeing either or, dude. It's just gay. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I didn't put that link in, the video, uh, in one of my videos the other day when we were talking about that. Now, did I? I just remembered that. But oh well. But okay. Say you get them in a C spawn trap. Right here, I think, is the best area you want to be. They're going to be spawning in that back corner, back there by C. You can play your cards, you know, hit them from different angles from right here, too. You can go through this stairwell to my left right there, shoot a couple. You can shoot them from this balcony right here. And I'm like, oh, shit, they're like cockroaches. I'm getting the fuck out of here, son. Yeah, that's what was going through my head right there. I went to look and shoot the dude off C, and I was like, dude, they're all fucking there. What the French house? So I ran like a beach. You know, there's no problem with that. You just run like a beach. Get your gears together and then come back in. Full blowing. I don't know if I said any of that right. Man, this is just a correction right now for me. Um, but yeah, this is where I like it when they're on a C-spawn trap. You can see that there's different advantage points to where you can take them. Right here, that doorway I was just walking towards, you can get a couple guys. You can come right here, aim down sides, pick up a couple dudes down there spawning at C. Come up, hit them out of this windows, and even go shoot them in the useless room, which is the room that overlooks B. That's just like the cool kids go there, you know. They get like one or two kills and they get shot. Um, you know, you can even get them. I don't know how that dude hit me right there. Do you see that? That dude's like a ninja, like wall hacking or something. How did he know I have specialists? How did he know I was about to come through the window right there? Seriously, he's a wall hacker. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. No, I'm not really because I've never really seen wall hacks on Xbox, but I'm not saying there isn't. Uh, but I have not really seen any. Uh, but I'm starting to get close to the Moab here, and I'm trying to play a little bit safe, and even though it's a little reckless looking. Um, but I'm trying to just stay away from their spawn majority of the time. Like right here, you can see, I, I know there's a bunch of this spawn here. I'm shooting at this sniper. I don't trust the UMP at this point, so I fall back. There's no sense of trying to get that kill and then getting grizzed, you know, because that would just put a... You know, no Moab for me, no Moab. But this is a good spot right there. At the beginning of each game, if you spawn at sea, you can rush into this little mailbox right here and pick up a couple kills out of that blown hole. I don't know what the call out is on that. I think it's just hole in the wall. But uh, you can pick up a couple kills from there. Uh, pick up uh, Peter Pepper, pick the pickle, pickle peppers. How many pickle peppers with Peter Pepper pick? Uh, but anyways, they come through that archway right there and try to get on B, and you can usually pick up two or three kills right there. Um... You know, so that's a good point at the start of the game. Not really at that juncture, but uh, not really at that juncture of all junctures. El Presidor would say. Uh, but, you know, that's a nice little, you know, spot to rush you at the beginning of the game. Pick up a couple kills, maybe fall back, and uh, pick up a couple more on your way out of there. I don't know, but this is the head glitch spot, just in case you missed me rambling on about it earlier. And that is the best spot as I pick up my Moab right about now. Sweetness. Did you see how close I came with that C4? I'd have been mad. Needless to say, I probably would have headbutt my desktop, and that dude got, sorry bro, whoever was on my team, sorry, the dead man's hand batch got you. I just killed him, I did, you know, I didn't mean to get you killed or nothing, guy, I just was killing the fella. Um, but yeah, you can see there, we got the Moab on lockdown, the best bet is to get him in a spawn trap, I think, even though this one was pretty much all over the effing place, and you just gotta do what you gotta do. I don't really have a Moab showcase in the a spawn that much. I have an M14 Moab, you know, pretty much on that stairwell the whole time. Um, and it was, it's kind of boring. So I don't know if I'll post that or not because I'm literally there the whole time with an M14 with Marksman. Just like, it's, you know, it's, I got rapid fire and suppressor on. So like, it's just, it was way too easy, dude. Especially with Marksman, Specialist, dude. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, guys, that's day 14 Moab on lockdown using the UMP45. I got me last blood, last kill, final kill cam. It's gravy. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like this video. If you dislike it, please remember to like, dislike it as well. But if you enjoyed it, please remember to rate and subscribe. Oh, man. I got to slow down. Yodi, starting out.